Hello guys, welcome to EC Electronics. So today's video is uh, two very exciting recruitment opportunities from Bharat Electronics Limited. This is a very much core company of electronics and it is also a government of India organization. There is two very exciting recruitment opportunities from this company and freshers are eligible. So we are going to see the details here. Uh, if you are uh, interested in starting your career with a core company of electronics, this can be the perfect opportunity for you. Uh, there is enough time for the preparation there is a video out in our channel which explains like what is the exam procedure what is the subjects that you have to prepare everything so uh, please watch that video i'll be uh, putting that video's link also in the description box uh, so here they are again uh, recruiting so there is continuous recruitments uh, out from this company there's a lot of people who are interested in working with this company so uh, please watch the video till the end. There is definitely fresher opportunities uh, available in this uh, video. So please watch the video till the end. I'll be explaining to you what is the details and everything. Uh, you can then directly go to the description link and start to apply. So let's see the recruitment that is from Bharat Electronics Limited. The first one is for uh, two different posts uh, here. They are hiring for indoor location for project engineer and trainee engineer. There is 35 posts available for the trainee engineer. And here the main attraction is that they are not asking for any experience. It's absolutely applicable for freshers. And there is a project engineer and mostly this uh, BEL, they don't, uh, Bharat Electronics Limited, they won't ask for much experience, maximum one or two year of experience. Even though it is a higher end post, project engineer is a higher end post. They are asking be BTEC in any discipline with just a pass class. You don't need to even have a 60 percentage. Just pass class is eligible uh, and you need to have two years of experience. That is the requirement. And if you are uh, like if you are a trainee engineer, if you are applying for trainee engineer post, be BTEC or BSc. Whenever they are calling, they always call for be BTEC and BSc. Along with be BTEC, they also club BSc. Branches that are eligible are CS, IT and uh is okay 35 posts is there and is absolutely for freshers age limit maximum is uh, for uh, project engineer 32 and for training engineer it is 28 salary also they have given it is 40000 for project engineer 30000 for uh training engineer training engineer is very much a fresher post whenever you are seeing training engineer in the uh, bl site it is absolutely for freshers eligibility criteria they have mentioned you should be a citizen of india Age limit we have already seen project engineer 32 and trainee engineer is 28 years. Age relaxation is there for uh, backward classes 3 years, scheduled cast SCST 5 years. Persons with uh, benchmark disabilities PWBD it is 10 years. We have seen the uh, educational qualification but they have given in detail here. Project engineer, B, B Tech in engineering, any discipline, any discipline in engineering is eligible here. Just need to have a pass class from the uh, recognized University of India. Upper age limit 32 years and age relaxation is there for reserved categories. Trainee engineers, B, B Tech with uh, again pass class only. Don't need to have 60 percentage. So they have not mentioned 60 percentage here. Uh, 28 years. So whoever is having a pass class is eligible for this notification. Let's see the other details and the other requirements here. Uh, yeah. Let's see the terms of engagement, like how many years this job is. Mostly whenever they hire for, uh, that is BEL, it's like will be for a tenure of four years or three years. So for project engineers, it's initially for three years and it can extend for up to one more year and totally it is four years based on the project requirement and performance of the candidate. <clears throat> Let's see the trainee engineer uh detail here initially it is for two years but it is extend extendable up to one more year so totally two uh three years yes let's see the salary of the payment which is very very attractive uh project engineers need to have two years of uh experience post qualification industry experience in software or it required skill set okay so it is forty thousand in as we have discussed, it's up to four years. So 40,000 is a, uh, it's a payment, monthly payment, okay, for, for first year. Second year, it is 45,000. Third year, it will be 50,000. And uh, fourth year, it will be 55,000. Every year, 5,000, 5,000, they will increase in the monthly payment. For trainee engineer, they have mentioned that it will be for like up to three years. So 30,000, then second year, 35, up to 40 years. Sorry, 40,000 in the third year. 
Now, in order to apply, what you have to do is I'll be putting the link in the description box. Just go to the link. You have to apply uh, online. Last date of submission is 1-1-2025, uh, January 1st, 2025. They have given the general instructions and details here. The main thing is you have to go to the site, apply here, and also uh, let's discuss about the application fees. It's uh, yeah, so candidates belonging to the general OBC EWS category applying for the post of project engineers is required to pay 400 plus 18 percentage GST. Uh, and candidates belonging to OBSC EWS, uh, you have to pay uh, 150 plus 80 percentage, 18 percentage GST. Application fees are not uh, refundable. You have to pay the application fee through SBI collect. Okay. Scroll down and you can see the details here. If you have any questions, it's very important. Please note down this number and the email ID. You have to go through the, uh, that is, you have to call them. Okay, let's move to the next recruitment update. That is again from BEL. So this is for Pune location. The other one was for Indore. This is for Pune. So this is uh, recruitment of project engineer for electrical, civil and mechanical. Again, age limit is 32 years. There is two years of a requirement of experience and yeah almost everything is the same salary is starting uh, it's like up to four years first year it is 40,000 second year it is 45 third year it is 50,000 fourth year it is 55,000 like that the salary is going to vary generally uh, BL will give like 5,000 5,000 increment every year yeah they have given uh, the requirement for uh, project engineer electrical is you should be having B, B Tech or BSc in electrical engineering from a recognized university and you need to have a uh, two year of experience. Same case with civil B, B Tech or BSc. All B, B Tech and BSc candidates are eligible. For, uh, that is you should be having in civil from a recognized university and two year of experience. Mechanical also B, B Tech. BSc engineering and mechanical and also you need to have two year of experience so the project engineer is a little bit higher in port so you need to have uh, two years of experience here let's go through the method of selection selection process we have discussed this in very detail in another video so that's why I'm not really focusing on this part but the video link will be pinned in the description that is it will be given in the description and also I'll try to uh, put that in the uh, comment session so selection process will be happening through test followed by an interview and the written test uh, that is the candidate who qualified the written test will be called for the interview based on the 1 is to 5 ratio that is if there is one post five people will be interviewed written test will be objective type 85 marks from technical domain and general aptitude 35 percentage is the pass mark uh, for the written test for s for general obc and ews for SCST, you need to have just 30% is the pass mark. Here the application fees is 472 rupees. Whoever is belonging to SCST, persons with disabilities, you are exempted from the fees. Yes, you can see the details and everything here. Anyway, I understand that. First, you have to apply online. You have to pay the fees through SBI Collect. You have to have all your certificates here. If you are having any uh, claims for your... Uh, reservation you need to have that certificate if you are working already in some uh, organization you need to have that noc certificate then cgpa conversion certificate your uh, percentage mark list everything degree certificate everything you need to have an experience letter too and your resume and your uh, passport size photograph birth certificate everything these are the required documents here also the last date is 1 1 2025 so that's all for today's video. There's a lot of uh, opportunities coming for electronics engineers. So uh, please keep watching the channel. A lot of uh, videos are coming up. Uh, thanks for the support. Keep supporting.